Welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And I'm Charlotte. And today we're filming a car that's very near and dear to my heart and is also in my driveway. This is the 2023 Kia Forte GT line. Yay. Charlotte, what makes the GT line special? Well, I mean, Gabby drives it. Yes. So automatically, that's, yeah. they should include it's that on, uh, on the brochures. <laughs> yeah, Kia Canada, if you're watching, take notes. No, but seriously, I bought this vehicle because it just ticked off every single box I had for purchasing a new vehicle. It's safe, it's got great warranty, it's got great fuel efficiency, and it's got great features. And it looks really, really good. Very, very good, might I add. It's very sporty. Yes. Which, if you look at all the little details that are included in this vehicle, that is something that you can definitely tell that they had in mind when they mm -hmm. were designing it and releasing it. Yep. So we're going to go through a full walkthrough, exterior and interior, and answer your guys' questions at the end. We'll also touch on a little bit of EV9 ordering information, and we will have a video going live tomorrow at 2 p.m. It's not going to be a live video, but it'll be posted right at 2. So mm -hmm. if you are interested in getting an EV9, definitely watch that. It's going to give you all your ordering information. And as always, because this is a live video, we're going to go through our little spiel before we get into the walkthrough. So Charlotte, why do we do these videos? So we do these videos for three different reasons. The first one is for those of you who own Kia or Hyundai vehicles, we want you guys to be the experts on your own vehicle. So we want to uh, give you all of the information that we know because it's no fun reading, uh, reading an owner's manual. Mm -hmm. The second one is that Kia and Hyundai has come a long way in the past 10 years. And if you guys are considering buying a new car, we would love it if you started to consider Kia or Hyundai as a brand. I think you'd be really impressed on what type of stuff they have available. The last option, of course, is if you are looking for a new Kia or Hyundai vehicle and you live in Ontario, we would love to sell one to you and get you guys into your car of choice. Um, if you're looking for Kia, Gabby and I are both here at Brantford Kia, where we film pretty much every day. Woohoo! <laughs> and if you are looking for a Hyundai vehicle, we have two Hyundai stores, Brantford Hyundai and also Owen Sound Hyundai, and we'd love to connect you with them too. Yeah. Woo. And as always, we'll show you guys how you can join our live videos if you want to catch us live in the future. Okay, so we'll have Charlotte grab want. it. Perfect. Yeah. What you want to do is open up YouTube, whether it be in your laptop or your phone, and go to the Kia Hyundai channel. While you're here, you definitely want to hit subscribe because we give you guys all the Kia and Hyundai information that we have in Canada once we get it. <laughs> and we go live every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So to catch us, all you have to do is go to either the home tab or the live tab on our page. And then you'll see we have a video that says upcoming. From there, all you have to do is click on the video. It'll load you in like a regular YouTube video would. You may have to watch an ad. Today we don't, nice. And then on the very right side, you'll see our live chat box. And that's where you guys will go to answer or ask us questions. That's where we'll go to read the questions. Um, before our live, sometimes we'll chat with you guys there as well. We'll say hello. Um, it's a nice little party. That's why we love doing these live. So now that we got that taken care of, let's take a look at the car. So, of course, I do love this vehicle. The GT line and the GT Limited are very, very different. Um, everything except styling is quite different. So under the hood, we have a two liter four cylinder gasoline engine. The horsepower is 147 and the torque is 132 pound feet of torque. Now, if you do want something a bit more peppy, definitely go to the GT Limited and that's where you'll get your 1.6 turbocharged engine. You'll still have a lot of the same styling and tech features. Uh, and you'll also get a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Lots of fun. We have an IVT transmission in this vehicle specifically, and that is absolutely great for fuel efficiency. It's super smooth on the highway, and it's actually very responsive for an IVT transmission, which is what a lot of other manufacturers have problems with. They're just so boring. This vehicle is not boring at all. Let's talk about style. So you see in the hood, or in the hood, oh my gosh, in our grill, we have a mix of our glossy black as well as some beautiful red accents. No matter what color you get on your Forte GT line or GT Limited, you're gonna get these beautiful red styling elements. It looks beautiful in the blue, the black, the white, everything. Such a nice, nice design element. Now for our headlights, this is another big reason why I got this vehicle. I absolutely love the full LED headlight plus your LED fog lights down at the very bottom. You do have to go to the GT line if you'd like fog lights. Um, really makes a difference while driving. I do drive quite some distance to get to work and I do a lot of driving at nighttime. And these lights, I can see just about everything, even though it's a lower car, they're so, so bright. And the cutoff, we can see it on the wall a little bit, is very, very sharp. You can make shadow puppets. <laughs> Now, moving on to the wheels, we have these beautiful 17-inch machine-finished alloy wheels. Stunning design. I absolutely love the look of them. They look really nice in motion as well. Oh, someone's just asking if the car is leaking water. No, it was just cleaned. Yeah. That's why. Um, so we were shooting a bunch of cars this morning for our um, sales page, and usually when they're washed, they're all wet and gross. And no, 
we have a slippery floor. All right, for our mirrors, they are black mirrors. So no matter what tr color you get on the vehicle, you will get a black mirror. You do have LED turn signal repeaters on the sides. And then moving on to the mirror portion, we have our light for our blind spot detection. So not only will that light up once there is a vehicle in your blind spot, either on the left or right side, it's actually gonna beep at you if you indicate a turn or to change lanes. And on top of that, if you were to go and change lanes while there was a car there, it will revert you into your original lane, avoiding a collision in your blind spot. Coming over to the back, we have beautiful LED taillights. And then another feature I absolutely love about the Forte is you actually get a trunk release button. So right over here, can release it nice and easy. You also have a lever by your um, left side on the driver's area to release it there, or you can do it from your key fob. And on top of that, you can have your key fob on you, walk up to your car, stand here for three seconds, your hazard lights will flash and it'll open up automatically. This is great if you're carrying a lot of things with you. Now take a look inside there, there's so much room. Um, I've had my forte for a while now, I've gone to the beach, taken coolers, taken just about everything, suitcases. There's seriously a lot of room in here and the opening is not too small, so yeah. you can definitely get everything in there. It's kind of deceptive, like it's hard to show in real life, but it really is deep. It's huge. <laughs> and on top of that, we do have these pull tabs to knock down your rear seats. So if you do need extra space and you have nobody sitting in the back, you have all that extra room there. Now, there's no spare tire in the Kia Forte on any of the trims, but we do have a tire mobility kit located right over there. If you can tell, this um, foam material, foam material, it's styrofoam, is removable, and you can purchase a spare tire if you'd like that for your peace of mind. Um, if not, there's tons of room under there for safety, I don't know, first aid kit, whatever it may be. you got room under there. Now, we'll close this up. Take a nice look at the rear end. You can see this car is still soaking wet. <laughs> Um, I really like the rear diffuser of this vehicle, your reverse lights, and your um, signal indicators are down here. Uh, I've never had an issue with this. Everyone seems to be able to see when I'm indicating a turn and, of course, when I'm reversing. You do have a great feature um, called reverse collision assist. So if I throw my car into reverse, it'll pick up if there's vehicles coming from the left or right side and alert me, and it'll actually apply emergency braking if I continue to reverse while there's an obstacle there. So I actually love that feature. <laughs> It's a little scary at first, but um, very, very nice to have. So we'll switch with Charlotte. She'll take over the interior, and then we'll be ready to answer some questions at the very end. Awesome. All righty. I just wanted to add, if you guys are watching live right now, don't forget to leave a like for the Kia Forte, for Forte Friday. Forte Friday, woo! Uh, so first thing I'll just show is on the door handles, you will see that it is keyless entry. So you can just press your button there. It makes it super easy to get into the vehicle. And then also we'll take a look at the driver's door first. So obviously beautiful. You do have a driver's express window. It also is obstacle detecting, which is an excellent feature to have. Not that you should be sticking anything out of your window. <laughs> and then we will hop in here into the driver's seat. And again, I'm going to put it all the way back. But you can also get a sneak peek that you do have the lovely alloy pedals. It does help with the overall sporty atmosphere of this vehicle. Beautiful, beautiful. And then also the cabin as a whole, it's very sporty. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's very designed for the driver, as it should be, but also is a great, um, the passenger will have a great time with it too. Yep. <laughs> I'll show this side, and you can again see how the vents carry in that sporty detail. Over here, we have your illumination for your dash also for your blind spot so if you want it on or off you can do that and then also traction control if you want that disabled or not uh do you want to come around to the side now sure yeah. how about them power seats though i believe it's 10 way 10 way adjustable it, there's a lot of ways they yeah. adjust <laughs> <laughs> very comfortable very very comfortable honestly one of the reasons why i got this trim level again was the fact that it had the synthetic leather seats and they're very sporty looking um, I have a dog and I find leather is just so much easier to clean up than cloth. Yeah, so this is a black leatherette and it does have the white piping and also your lovely GT line badging. And again, the seats are very are designed to, again, em, what am I, what's the word? Emulate sportiness. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. And uh, I think they do a very good job with it and I hope it's evident to you guys on camera too. Oh, does it have lumbar support? I believe so, yeah. Yes, it does. My lumbar is supported. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, taking a look in front of me, we do have a leather wrapped, very sporty style steering wheel. It has your GT line badging on it. And don't worry, it's heated because we live in Canada and it's cold. 
directly in front of me continuing with the sportiness is um, a lot of people are surprised that they didn't go fully digital for the tachometer and speedometer but I love that they didn't because again it makes it feel a lot more sporty and then you have your 4.2 TF uh, TFT cluster in the center mm -hmm. and from there you can do some of your adjustments if you want to show your tire pressure your sp digital speedometer everything like that horn right in the middle right where it needs to be woohoo <laughs> So here's the steering wheel. On this side is where you're going to have your media controls. And then on the other side is going to be more of your driving control. So your smart cruise control, um, as well as lane follow assist. Everything is accessible here, perfectly set up for the driver. In the center here, if you want to take a look at the media, you have your 10 and a quarter inch screen. Now, because it is a bigger screen, that means that we do have a wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but do not fear, we do have a wireless phone charger in this vehicle and still lots of opportunities to charge up if you want. A couple of things I'll just show you guys on this screen is it does have quiet mode, which I like to point out in every vehicle that I see now because it's my favorite, having a baby. <laughs> And then if you want to access any of the safety features that Gabby was talking about as we were walking around the car when it comes to the sensors or the cameras, if you go in through settings and go to your vehicle, you can see what is listed. So if you simply click on them, you can see what falls under that and if you want to disable it or change it to your specific needs. So I like to point that out because I find it very convenient and sometimes it can be hard to show. And then also it does have Kia Connect. So that is an excellent feature to have. I use it all the time, literally all the time especially now that it's nice and hot. Um, but if you were worried about it being nice and hot outside, it does have remote start as well. So you can cool your vehicle down from the comfort of your home. Okay, that was a lot with the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it is push to start and then you also have a dual climate control as well. So keep yourself nice and cool. Here's your phone charger that I mentioned. And then also the USB, so you have a 12 volt and then two USBs, one for connectivity, one for fast charging a nice real shifter in the center, nice and sporty. And then these lovely leatherette seats, voice crack right there for me. <laughs> they are heated and also ventilated. We've got your heated steering wheel and then also your drive modes. So the drive modes for this vehicle, you have three. You have normal, sport, and smart. So sport, it's gonna allow the vehicle to be a little bit more aggressive on the throttle, also tighten up the steering for you, give you that very, very sporty feel. And then smart mode, it's going to cycle between a combination of the different modes uh, just to optimize the driving experience and your driving habits as well. I'm talking a lot, I know that. I'm talking really <laughs> fast too. <laughs> uh, we also have a rear view camera on this bad boy. So there it is with dynamic guidelines. So as you turn the wheel, the lines are gonna shift showing you where the vehicle is going to end up. Mm -hmm. And our navigation also popped up because this vehicle, it does include integrated navigation. And this is the first one. Split screen. Woo woo. Very nice. <laughs> Love it. They said you're doing a great job, Charlotte. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> On this side, obviously cup holders, little compartment to your phone or whatever else you might need to put in there, change. Um, electric parking brake, very easy to enable. And then also auto hold. So if some people love that feature, some people don't, just click it to disable it or enable it. Armrest. It is easily adjustable, so the top of it can slide forward if you're a little bit shorter and sit closer like me. I've never done that in my car. And you can slide it back. You've never done that? No. Are you going to do it now? Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it does open too. So it is, uh, it's not the deepest. It doesn't, it's not quite my hand. So it's not crazy deep. I'll tell you in real world situations, I have a lot of things. It's in pretty my, wide. Yeah, the, you can fit a lot of things in there. <laughs> nice. See, rear world, rear world application. Thank you. I always <laughs> struggle with those words. You do have a lovely sunroof. So it's a beautiful day out today. It's not too hot. If I was driving this car, I would definitely have this open on my way home. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm so amped about this feature that I'm going to show you. Guess, can you guess what it has? <laughs> guess. <gasps> oh, I think I know. Sunglass, sunglass holder, holder, baby. <laughs> that is my soapbox. I think every vehicle should have a sunglass holder and hardly any of them do, which is absolutely criminal. Mm -hmm. So I'm stoked that, that is there. <laughs> and then up at the top, like every other vehicle, you do have lights, uh, your control for your sunroof, everything like that as well. <laughs> so we should hop into the back seat, I think. Oh, let me show you something about a sunroof that some oh. people may not know. Please do. So it opens. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Okay, but it usually stops at around there, right? There we go. Let's give it one more little push back. 
extra wide sunroof. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So there's a little thing you guys may or may not know about your vehicle. I didn't know until recently. Someone commented it on a live. Driver and, hacks. Yeah, <laughs> we love to see it. Um, also, another thing I love about the Forte GT line is when the black headliner mm -hmm. gives the vehicle a more sporty, more almost moody cabin. It's very nice. I like darkness. Ooh, that's sad. Okay, um, and then and then here we have LED lighting. So again, at nighttime, this just brightens everything up. If you are looking for anything that you may have dropped, you will definitely find it. All right, let's take a look at the back. All right, so continuing with the leatherette in the back, I did move this seat all the way back to show you guys my foot room. Um, you know, it's a considerable amount, I'd say. There's definitely vehicles that offer more foot room when it comes to the back, but that is the price that you pay when you are getting a sedan. Um, compact but, sedan. Compact sedan, even more compact. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one, but <laughs> it's okay. But something that is great is that you do have um, rear ventilation, so you can get some heat or some air conditioning back here, and then also a rear USB. Now, if you're sitting in the middle, on a lot of vehicles, this middle hump, it can sit up very high. I don't find it too high on this vehicle. Obviously, it's not completely flat like an EV, um, but it's not too high. I'm still sitting here relatively comfortable and I'm still wearing heels, so my foot is elevated. If I wasn't, it would again be a lot more comfortable. On the passenger seat, you do get a net pocket, so you can fit lots in there. And then also we do have heated seats in the rear as well. So okay. anyone who's back here can stay nice and comfortable in the winter or if they have a sore back like me. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll close this up. Oh, oh, never mind. Sorry, Charlotte. Thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Mark asked if this is Pat's EV6. And while Pat does have an EV6 in this exact same color and spec, this is not his. This one just landed and it is available for sale. So we will have a short video being posted on that. And we also wanted to show you guys Teddy on his new ride. It's not a Kia, but it's okay. He's done so much for um, our dealership here that will allow we him to We thought he drive. deserved a little treat. Something fun. Okay. We'll put this up. Ooh. Okay. This is... There we go. I got to switch sides again with you, Charlotte. <laughs> we did um, this before, and it just felt too weird us being on separate sides. Yeah, We're it, creatures of habit. We really. have established routines yes. here, and we can't break them. And I'm going to grab some questions, too. That way I can see them. EJ the third asked if this is the GT2. So the GT2 trim does not exist here in Canada. That, your equivalent to the GT2 would be the GT Limited here, so our turbocharged forte. This is the naturally aspirated 2-liter four-cylinder. Um, okay. I don't know why it's not casting to our TV, so I'm just going to be staring at my computer. Yeah, it's a little, uh... <laughs> Fun fact, the Kia Forte is called the Kia Cerato in Saudi Arabia's market. Awesome! Uh, my neighbor is looking at another EV, not Hyundai or Kia. Stephen, can you convince them to consider Kia yeah. or Hyundai? <laughs> uh, I know your sister's got lots of cars. Yes. So um, get her on that. Hank asked, how much is the silver EV6 GT? So it's just MSRP, so $75,995. But because it is the matte paint, Kia charges a $3,000 paint fee. Surcharge, which is different from the 2022, year. yeah. So, whew. <laughs> of course, that's plus taxes and fees too, though. Um, does Charlotte get the nice new giant iPad because she's Pat's daughter? No, I, I bought it myself. <laughs> my laptop died after many years um teddy is living the life i'm so jealous of him he is truly he does nothing uh, actually he does a lot i will not lie um i live in edmonton can we buy cars from your establishment in ontario and how will the process work unfortunately no you do have to have an ontario address to buy purchase new cars from us otherwise it's a breach of our franchise agreement you can sell used cars though yeah used cars though that i've done um, finally a car that has a sunglass holder. <laughs> I know. <laughs> to think that's such a rarity now. Some of our fully loaded vehicles don't have it, but then our base models will have yeah. it, which is so weird. Um, let's see. So I messaged Peter on his YouTube channel and I told him he should collaborate with you guys, but he says he thinks you guys you guys think you're over him because you took down one of his videos. Oh, we had to take down a couple videos because we got in trouble from Kia <laughs> from the VPOG. So anything like that, regardless if you did it, had to come down. Yeah. No hard feelings, though. Mm -hmm. 
patiently waiting for the EV6 to come in the Caribbean. I currently have a 2021 Forte slash Saratoga. Ooh. Ooh, awesome. Um, let's see. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit because there were so many questions while we were filming. Um, the Forte has features my GT2 doesn't, such as the rear heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Yeah, that's because um, depending on the country, is the specs can differ. A lot of Canadians will generally choose to have heated features <laughs> because it gets a lot colder here. So I noticed um, a lot of the features in the States, they'll maybe maybe get heated seats on their very highest trim level. Yeah. But here in Canada, all of our base models come standard with yeah. heated seats. We're seeing heated steering wheel become a lot more standard feature. Yeah. There's some base that still don't, but. Um, let's see, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Um, I thought I Lots saw a question questions. about the EV9 ordering, but maybe uh, not. I'll take a look for it too. Um, <laughs> okay, and scroll down. Charlotte, how's your baby? Oh, she's doing really good. She's six months now as of Monday, and she's hanging out with her grandma today. Someone um, asked if it has paddle shifters. No, it doesn't. You would have to go up to the GT Limited. Do the Kia Sorentos have any problems currently? The only problem or issue I could think of is there is no hitch available for them at this point because there was a recall on the uh, hitch wiring harness for the vehicle. Um, let's see. What is Mike's position at the dealership? So Mike doesn't actually work at Brantford Kia. He works at Brantford Hyundai and he is the marketing manager, I believe. That's his title. We love Mike. Yes. Do we have titles? Uh, I just show up. <laughs> We are Gabby and Kia from the Kia Hyundai channel. <laughs> um, I think we're technically called media managers. Sweet. That, that's our job. Nice. <laughs> we are I the manage managers. You, you manage me. Yeah, we're literally the only people in our department. So, <laughs> And when Charlotte was on mat leave, I was, was the, just Gabby. Yeah, I was the media manager and I'm like having department meetings with myself. I'm like, okay, guys, what are we doing today? <laughs> Talking to myself. Um, what's the sister car to the Hyundai Sonata? And that is the Kia K5. <laughs> Um, where are the Fortes built? The Fortes are built in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Forte 5s are built in Korea, though. Yep. Fun fact. What's your hot take on, since K5s are obviously limited in... Inventory. Yeah, yeah, in general. Do you think a Forte GT Line or GT Limited would be a suitable substitute? Honestly? Because you drive one. So I would really like a K5 and I probably would have gone with a K5 if I could get one, but they are just about impossible to get, honestly. Yeah. And even someone who works at the dealership, I could not get one. Uh, I don't know, I'm very happy with my Forte, better on fuel, although I do kind of wish that I had the all wheel drive the K5, so I'm in between. Yeah. If I had the opportunity, I think I would have taken the K5, K5 instead, yeah. Do you think this is a pretty good in the meantime? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, um, someone's asking, but uh, Ethan's asking, is Kia a Korean brand? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Hyundai and Kia, they're sister companies. <laughs> Evo X said, Gabby, you sound so loud and clear through my Forte speakers. That's good. That is the power of the Kia Forte. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yeehaw. Forte Friday. <laughs> um, let's scroll up again. NR asked, any news on 2024 models from Kia? We do have a video on the ordering process for the 2024 Kia EV9 coming out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so that's PM. exciting. Um, let's see. Do the oh, I already answered that. Um, hands at Gabby, long time no see. You clearly haven't been watching our live videos. I'm joking. <laughs> it's nice to see you on. Um, let's see. Hyundai announced wireless Android Auto. When can we get it? We don't have anything official on that yet. Um, we're not sure if it'll be a software update in our previous vehicles yeah. or if it'll just be the new vehicles that have been produced. There's no official news for us yet, but we'll definitely do a video on that. If oh, we do yeah, that because that's a huge question that we get on pretty much every live or people coming into the dealership. Mm -hmm. um, can you cancel a leasing? Do you mean if you order the vehicle and it hasn't arrived yet, cancel it or just get out of a lease? Or like buying out your lease. Mm -hmm. Lease transfers are also a thing, lease, lease takeovers. Yeah. Um, did you mention MSRP? No, we did not. And that's actually something I don't have on the top of my head. <laughs> um, I might be able to grab it real quick. A little out of touch. <laughs> Used to be for 2022, was it 20? Oh, get out of a lease. 
yeah, so to get out of the lease, there's a couple options. You could, of course, buy it out, um, or you could find someone to take over your lease and then transfer it to them. Um, Evo X says, I own a 2022 K5 and a 2023 Forte GT2. Those are very nice Awesome. Um, let's see. To be a part of Brantford Kia slash Hyundai, what's the process? Do you live in Ontario? Live in Ontario, hopefully somewhere close to Brantford. Apply. There you go. <laughs> You can work for us or work here. Um, Gabby and Charlotte are the best. Do you remember me from the last live? I yeah. do, Ethan, yes. Um, Marmat says, I want a pickup truck. Hyundai Santa Cruz. We also have a couple used ones available on the lot. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Yes. Um, wink, wink. Brian asked, how is the inventory situation? Do you guys have a lot of cars in the lot yet? We have a lot of cars on the lot. They're all sold. <laughs> so the inventory situation isn't exactly inventory. Yeah. But cars are arriving which mm -hmm. is good. We're seeing cars arrive more frequently, so they're starting to get caught up from all that backlog. Yeah. And then hopefully once they're through that con period of congestion, we'll start getting a regular inventory supply. Yeah. Is there work from home? Brantford's too far. No, I don't think any of us have really ever worked from home. Mm -mm. No. We can do some things from home, like send out emails and stuff, <laughs> but for a majority of our work, we have We're to be on site, here. yeah. yeah. We definitely can't go live from home. I thought about no, that. No, that would be, <laughs> we, it would have to be our, our cars. Yeah. Car reviews in our driveway every day. It's the same car. Mine and Charlotte's personal vehicle. <laughs> yeah, we can start doing that. Um, Want to get an EV6, but waiting on more info on the EV9. So we'll tune in tomorrow. Awesome. Perfect. Thank, we'll thank see you. That too. Uh, I think we should probably end off today's live video. Yeah, it's been about 26 minutes. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Any final questions? Anything, yeah, you guys want to know before we sign off? It's Forte Friday. It's nice. Fancy Friday. Look how fancy I dress today. Yeah. I put my best shoes on. <laughs> um, you could do a live lifestyle vlog. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, guys, I, I think that would be really, really boring. I'm not yeah. going to lie. <laughs> 2 p.m. to 2.30 is like the highlight of my day. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. A little bit. Um, can you talk more about the Kia app? Yes. So I can't exactly show you it because we film on my phone, but um, it's basically, it's the same for Hyundai, only Hyundai's is called Hyundai Blue Link. Um, you log on, you set up your account, you put in your VIN number, Online. confirm your information, and then you just open up your app. You can start your car, you can see when your next service is due, you can turn on um, set presets for your climate. So I have one for winter, one for summer, one for like a middle range temperature, and then have your heat blasted or your AC blasted. Start your car, get in 10 minutes later, everything's perfect for you. Um, you can also be notified every time you leave your car unlocked. So two minutes after leaving my vehicle, if it's unlocked, it'll send me a push notification that I can press and manually, or I guess, um, digitally lock my car. We have done a video on it. Here's my home screen just for reference. I saw a video asking what I currently drive. I drive a Sportage X-Line Limited. What'd you name it? 20E2303. Stock number Stock Sportage. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see the different uh, menus here. If you want to go in depth, you just click on them. But we have done a video on it as well. Nice, nice. Um, Antonio Patel, thank you for your oh useful videos. We're glad you guys find it useful. Um, I actually had a customer come in today to pick up his brand new EV6 and he stopped by just to say hi to me. And I was like, oh, you watch the videos? He's like, yeah, they're so, so helpful. And sometimes I think, I'm like, how is this? Like, Oh yeah. Sometimes so, it's just a riot, but yeah. we're glad we can help you guys out. <laughs> Hyundai Kona 2024. Ooh, we have a lot Shout of fun doing out. these videos, I should say. We have way too much fun. Too much fun. Um, apart from live, what's the day in the life of a media manager? This, <laughs> I sold a car this morning. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we do during the day. Uh, we'll do a lot of behind the scenes work. Yeah. So a lot of forwarding inquiries um, to our Hyundai dealerships, whatever it could be. Um, a lot of making sure everything's right, going through comments, going through analytics on the YouTube channel. Cleaning cars. Cleaning cars. We still do pretty much what we used to do here. So I used to do sales. I'm mm -hmm. still running around making sure the used cars are right. Um, a lot of it's previous customers or by appointment. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not necessarily on the sales floor anymore, but I still take care of a lot of my old customers. And uh, yeah, Gabby, are you a salesman? Technically not anymore, um, but I still do some sales sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. We have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Charlotte, anything you want to answer before we end off? Um, I don't know why I said that's so loud. Do we have merch? Do no. we have merch? No. Not official merch from us. We have Kia merch. Yeah. 
So maybe one day we should sell Teddy. No, I'm just I don't think anyone will auction want him. him off. Yeah, he's kind of dirty. Oh man. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you, everyone has a great weekend and mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. If not, see you Monday. See ya.